guys, John Bennett here. Today I wanted to go over preppers. Well, my opinion is there should be limited kind of preps. Majority of you, you know, honestly, don't have the experience and knowledge. You just have, should have enough food in your cupboard, enough water and candles to survive on, and maybe one more one firearm. Natural disasters, EMPs, or uh, electromagnetic pulses, which are or two types solar flares which are is solar and then there's nuclear which is you know atomic bomb going off in the atmosphere either way all the satellites uh, all radio communications all, all the army communications uh, will be nullified it will be back to the 18th century again so you don't want to prep like the world's gonna end you start buying up a bunch of guns and ammo and um, posting it on YouTube telling everybody you have all this that your bunker and what it looks like and the layout and everything you have in your bunker uh, the federal government when martial law gets declared you will be on that list Okay, the federal government isn't stupid. They know all the, they have a list of all the people that have all these arms that have they've been collecting. You're, you're going to be the target of not only preppers that lost their stuff or the U.S. federal government when martial law hits after an EMP or an, any other natural disaster or zo zombie apocalypse, if you will. Let's just say apocalypse, uh, because zombie apocalypse is, let's just say it's not realistic. Uh, as far as we know in science, they can't be undead. But there are viruses, um, diseases, uh, all different types of, of apocalyptic type situations. But you want to prep for those. You want to have only a couple firearms. Don't voice about it on YouTube. Tell everybody you know. You know, the most innocent person can be the most vile person when STHF. So, when they start the killing and they wouldn't have thought about it just for a second before that incident. You know, hard times comes with hard decisions. When you're a businessman, you got a family, an apocalyptic situation happens, you want to protect and feed you and take care for your family as, as well as you can. Even if it comes down to uh, robbing and killing old Joe across the street. You know, it's better than your family dying, but that's realistic, okay? When a natural disaster like an EMP strikes, all satellites are going to be null and void. The U.S. government is not going to have any comms, any communications, uh, for the most part. So, neither are all the other governmental factions, like FEMA, SEMA, Homeland Security, National Guard, Coast Guard. God love them. God love them all. But you can't really depend on those guys in that kind of situation. Because they're going to be running around trying to figure out how to communicate with this faction and that faction. Uh, this company and that company. And they're going to be totally lost. You don't want to be the number one target with all the guns. You want to be the guy with the shotgun hidden or the Beretta 9mm with a couple extra clips. 
you don't want to be the number one target for other preppers, desperate people, or the U.S. government. They want you to stay in your home, no matter what the situation, until they have an evacuation warning. So they want to come in, clear out everything, evacuate everybody, and then go in after the fact of these natural disasters or situations and clean up. That's their major job. Yes, is they want to prep for it. They want to do everything they can for it. But the majority of their job is to come in after and clean up. Right? For Y2K or year 2000, I was in the New York State Guard. And I was in uh, Governor Pataki's situation room for Y2K. The basic five giant screens on the wall, generals walking by, FEMA, SEMA, everybody. I got respect for all those guys. Uh, that's when, you know, clocks rolled back. The computers didn't calculate. They, they weren't calculated for 2000, the year 2000 or greater. So they figured the computers are going to crash. Planes are going to fall from the sky. None of that happened. Thank God. I was on computers for emergency call calls. I got one call for looting, and that was about it. But I've worked with FEMA and SEMA and New York State Search and Rescue. And I'm just trying to be real, okay? They will be there. They will do their job. But to depend on them is semi-futile. Okay, because they can only do so much. They're only budgeted for so much. All right, so be wise in your prepping and prep for realistic situations. All right, so thank you very much, and we'll see you on the flip side.